Hey, how's it going everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of the Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. So, now that I've taken down the Hammerlock Stadium, it is time to head on over towards Winden. So, I'm gonna go over here to the uh, Hammerlock train station, and... Wait up, Maryland, I'm coming too! I had Ryan beat in no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. <laughs> yep, that's right. It's Hop. He's there to meet you there. And Ryan, of course. And you never stop mattering on or nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won for me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup Tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Marilyn. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Ryan, to beat him. So get a move on, Marilyn. The train's waiting. Indeed. All right, so... I'm on a train. Woo! We're finally headed for Winden. That's a lot, or there's a lot I want to check out there. There's that big tower and the monorail and Winden Stadium, where the whole of Gallard, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. I'm starstruck. You get it, right? You and me are going to make our match there the greatest match that ever was. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're not here yet. We have, uh, we've stopped somewhere else. I wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Hmm, that is a good question. Yeah, you can buy stuff if you need. Actually, I really should take a look really fast at the uh, the items, because now that all the badges have been earned, you can buy all the items. Well, all the items available for purchase. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be ice type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Maryland. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts? I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off! See you in Winden, mate! Uh-huh, alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and just take a look at that really fast. Uh, yeah, because again, every, uh, every gym badge you unlock... Actually, it's not every badge, but several badges. They'll give you new items to purchase, so now we can buy full restores, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't remember exactly what else unlocked. Probably Ultra Balls. That might have been after the seventh badge. But whatever the case, here's the full selection. Full Resorts are nice to have like one or two, uh, maybe three. But generally speaking, you're only going to want to use these for fights in battles because otherwise you're usually better off just using Hyper Potions and any kind of these healing items or even a full heal and that will be more affordable than the 3,000. Uh, I'll buy a few of these, though. Wheels are actually a little bit cheaper than they were. It used to be, like, 600. Not that it's a huge difference, but still. Anyway, this is kind of what Victory Road from the old games is like now. Uh, there is two, uh, two X attacks, or there are two X attacks over here. They're kind of hidden. There's two lovely benches that you can sit on, which is nice. Uh, there's this thing. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> dance! Do a dance for me! <laughs> yes, this is Galarian Mr. Mime. It's, uh, it's something. It's definitely something. It's now part ice type, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Do I have enough quick balls? Yeah, I do. I always wonder every single time. Like, I should. I stocked up, but, you know, they're very handy for catching Pokemon because they have a very high success rate when used on the first turn. So I recommend those. Go to the wild area if you haven't already. Track them down. All right, I'll go ahead and catch this thing. <laughs> it's definitely a wild thing, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, Ice Psychic type, it does evolve into a new evolution, Mr. Rhyme, which is kind of interesting. Uh, all right, but yeah, anyway, 
There is a Max Revive over here. Very handy item indeed. Can't buy those in store. There's Snom. <laughs> yeah, we've already seen Snom though. But yeah, just thought I'd point that out in case you didn't have your uh, your Snom fix. Uh, speaking of fix, here is a nice two scoop of ice cream. That's right, Vanillux. Wild Vanillux, that's kind of cool actually. You can also find Vanillish here, but yeah, you can get the fully evolved two scoop. If you're looking for an ice type Pokemon, it's not a bad ice type. I mean, this is a good point in the game to get it. Like, I appreciate the fact that it's just like, hey, you know, you don't have to sit through Vanillite, Vanillish even. Like, I guess Vanillish isn't that bad. But no, you can have a, a Vanillux. Just ready to go. It's not like the greatest. There's plenty of ice type options. You're gonna find a lot. Whoops, I don't want to add you to my party. You're gonna find a lot of ice type Pokemon while traveling through here. Oh, it never melt ice. Well, thank you. It will never melt. Yeah, you can find Snover here. There's also another Snom. All right, I need to I need to hold off on these encounters. Let's get through this route. So, like I said, like I alluded to, this is kind of the victory road in Sword and Shield. There's not a proper victory road, but this is kind of that last gauntlet. It has a bunch of trainers waiting to take you down. They're not too tough, thankfully. Like, they've got some tricks up their sleeves, but their levels aren't too bad. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. Yeah, they're, they're not too bad. But it may be hailing, right? So... Your Pokemon will take damage over time, so definitely stock up on, like, smaller healing items. Preferably something you can get over in the, uh... Oh, uh, I don't know, like, for instance... What am I thinking of? The vending machines. <laughs> Things like lemonade, fresh water, these are very cost-effective. They're a good item. Or good, yeah, a good item for healing. Which is nice. Alright, so, yeah, this... Doctor has a Gardevoir. Pretty strong fairy psychic type. It's actually doing a number to my poor Arctazolt here. This thing's hitting quite hard. Um, static. Yeah, actually paralyzing from a uh, special base move. Because it did make contact. I mean, you know, <laughs> a kiss is contact, right? It's just kind of one of those interesting things. A lot of people think that contact, you know, direct contact, as far as, like, when effects trigger, for instance, abilities. They think it's only physical moves, but things like Earthquake, it doesn't make contact, even though, you know, it's a physical move. And then in this instance here, even something that's a special base move, it can make contact. Small detail, I know, but just kind of thought I'd point that out, because you don't really see many of those instances. All right, so I stocked up on some Hyper Potions. Hopefully I brought enough. Probably should have practiced what I preached and brought along some lemonade. Or fresh water, even. Either of those would have been good. Just for, you know, some spot healing. Yeah, you know what? I think I will use my Arctazole. It could use a little bit more training. Only do what you can. Taking risks while mountain climbing is dangerous. Yeah, there's a bunch of trainers here. So be ready. So Hiker Douglas here. He's got a Steelix. Oh, man, that is not something I want to be fighting right now. With Arctazol. Actually, I don't really have a good solution for Steelix, do I? I usually would use a water type there. I mean, fire is an option, but not necessarily a great one. Because it's also part ground, and that could do a lot. I think I'll send out. Hmm. Like, I have things that are super effective. It's just Steelix has a ton of defense, so special base moves are really the way to go. I think we'll go with, uh, go with my Surf Etched here. Take this thing down. Oh no, Curse. Oh, that's not good. So that's gonna raise its attack and defense. So even though I'm gonna hit it for super effective damage, it's not gonna do very much. Although if I get a critical hit, it'll get around that. So I don't know, let's see. I'll go for Brick Break. We'll see what happens. I don't feel too good about this right now. Uh, that was pretty good. That wasn't even a crit, too, so that's nice. I should be able to take it out. Wow! Wow, that actually hurt. That was strong. 
Well, it's good to see a nice power increase of trainers around here. Finally a challenge. <laughs> oh man, I mean, again, I've been catching a lot of Pokemon. My levels are pretty high. And a lot of the Pokemon in the area, the wild Pokemon, they're even, you know, at a similar... Well, they're not quite as strong as me, but they're higher level than the trainers around here, which is really weird, really. Anyway, Mudsdale, big, strong horse. Very strong, a lot of physical defense. Uh, use water, grass, those are good things to take it down, especially if they're special based, because otherwise this thing is pretty... Pretty beefy. Pretty beefy indeed. Okay, there we go. Alright, so he's out of the way. Now we have a bit more over here. I should probably heal up as well. This will use another hyper potion. Only 87 points. Not quite full efficiency there, but that's fine. Okay, so it looks like it branches off here, so let's see what's down the left path. Oh, it's an Obama Snow. So I think this is a special encounter. I'm pretty sure I read that it does respawn if you exit the route, but yeah, there's a nice level 55 Obama Snow for you if you want to have this thing. It's a pretty strong grass ice type. I think I mentioned it before, but yeah, it has so many weaknesses. <laughs> oh no, wood hammer. That's kind of painful. All right, well, you're not really, oh no. Well, this is bad. Okay, that ought to help. Shoot, maybe I should go back and buy some more hyper potions. You know what, before I get too far, that's honestly not a bad idea. All right, what does this have to say? Uh, the Dynamax Phenomenon, all right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you know, we've probably already experienced Gigantamaxing, given the fact that we've had to fight, what, at least five gym leaders that have used it? Actually, I think it's, what, four? Something like that. Uh, let's see. We had Kabu, we had, um, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I apologize in advance. I'm running on about four hours of sleep. But, yeah, um, we've seen plenty. There were a few that didn't, like Nessa... Um, Milo, they didn't. I think it's just Nessa, and Milo, and Piers, if I'm not mistaken. Because Kabu, he started the whole Dynamax trend. Or Gigantamax trend. Alright, we'll just buy a bunch of those. Yeah, Hyper Potions, they're a little bit more expensive, but eh, they're convenient. It's usually not worth getting a full strength max potion. Really not worthwhile. Okay, so onwards. And I could be riding my bike here, but I don't know. It just doesn't really seem too sensible riding a bike in the snow. Uphill! Both ways! Wait, what? Uh, anyway. Oh, snuck past this guy while he's checking his phone. It's kind of a funny detail. I get more nervous about battles than work. All right, so Ronald has a Weavile. Really cool Pokemon. I love Weavile. It's one of my favorites. Dark Ice type. Very fast. Home Claws. Hmm. That's a little scary. Yeah, I didn't think that would knock it out. But it did something, which is good. Metal Cloth. Oh, no! That's not good. Well, that actually didn't do very much. Like, even with the plus one boost. Wow. Okay, then. Claydol. Uh, you know what? I just remembered this thing might have, like, earth power or something. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, that's no big deal. I can just knock it out, freeze dry. But it's pretty bulky. Ground psychic type with levitate. Didn't quite do enough. Oh man, if I would have used ice beam, it would have done enough. Sure enough, it hit me with earth power. 
thankfully, this thing is mostly about defense rather than offense, so... Doesn't really have a lot of offensive strength, but it can still hit pretty hard if it gets a super effective move on you. Uh, when I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battleman? <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, well, unfortunately, I didn't really think while fighting that Weavile. It had pressure, so I used up, like, all of my, well, almost all of my, uh, ancient power. That's a shame. Come chew! All right, so over here, there is a <laughs> Sneasel about to slash my behind. And a Comet Shard right there. Ah! Yep, there's a Sneasel. Now, you could, of course, find Sneasel quite a bit earlier. So I, I won't really count this as new at all. No, let me run. I really need a lead with a Pokemon that's faster. Okay, you're gonna get paralyzed now. <laughs> you have to, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I should be able to run. There we go, not a problem at all. Well, it didn't end up being a problem. Okay, what do you have, buddy? The post. I wonder just how long we can keep on carrying letters like this. Yeah, why are you out here anyway? I don't see any houses. Postman Harper. A Palipur. Well, that's kind of nice. Oh, <laughs> well, you're using Drizzle. Well, you have Drizzle. Kind of a shame. I actually like that hail when I'm leading with Arcazolt. Thankfully, I have a freeze dry with your name on it. Get out of here. Yeah, I guess that drizzle could be a blessing for a lot of people. Ooh, knocked owl as well. Um. Yeah, you know what? Freeze dry this thing as well. Why not, right? Oh yeah, that thing has a lot of special defense. No! Well, that's unpleasant. Um... I should probably use an Awakening if I have one. Oh, I don't. I have some full heals, though. Wait, do I have any Chesto Berries? Like, a lot of Chesto Berries? I have one. I'd rather hold on to it. All right, well, we'll use this full heal, because I don't really want to be asleep right now. Moonblast, ooh, <laughs> that's sneaky. Fairy type move. All right, I gotta just use Ice Beam in the future. I use Freeze Dry because it has more power points, and I keep thinking, well, you know, try to save Ice Beam for the things that need it the most. But it does have a little bit of extra power, if I'm not mistaken. I lost. When I think about it, I didn't never want it to end. What? Okay. Alright, so there's also this guy over here. You pretty much have to pick your poison. Uh, did you know, or do you know, the old legend that says that Galar is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? No, I haven't heard that one. Cabby Jeffrey. Oh, he has a Corviknight. Well, <laughs> looks like Galar's doomed because this thing's about to disappear. Oh, man, this actually would have been a good example or a good time to have an electric move. There's very few times that I need it with Freeze Dry and Ice Beam. But, yeah. Uh... Well, I mean, I, I guess I could switch out. Well, there's not that much this thing can do to me, right? I mean, I'm not weak to steal. Oh, I should've just used Ice Beam. <laughs> uh, here we go again. Honestly, Freeze Dry is better right now, because it's gonna be a two-hit KO anyway. Hmm, well, this is a little, little scary. Hey, you did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I love Arc Dissolve. <laughs> It's just so silly. I mean, I just love the snot running off its nose. I love it, like, shivering. It's very neat. Uh, double edge. You know what? I don't really care for that. It has high damage, but 
The recoil damage isn't good. Okay, this is nice. Although I am confused, so... We're gonna be taking a pretty big risk here against this Flygon. Uh, I'll go for Ice Beam, just in case. I think Freeze Dry will do enough. Oh, it outspeeds me. That's not good. It is pretty fast. Okay, don't knock yourself out. Yay! I'm so proud of you, Arc Dissolve. Oh, look at you go. Yeah, you showed that Flygon. <laughs> that thing is fly gone. Oh man, just like that Corviknight. It just disappeared. Okay, there we go. I actually don't know much about the old Corviknight legend. Uh-huh. Alright, so yeah, I guess you don't need to fight all of them. Uh, you could fight just that guy. Or just the other guy. Nearby. Do I have like a potion? Like just a basic potion? I actually don't. Have some berry juice. Here, you know what? Have some berry juice. It's good for you. Okay, so over here, just kind of looking out for like hidden items and stuff. I'm bound to miss something. I just know it, but I'll do my best. All right, so yeah, a little strip of stuff over here, some tall grass. Then down here, you might have remembered a little bit ago by that sign, seeing an item that you couldn't pick up. Well, you just wrap around and you can find it. It's power! Single-use item, so don't use it while going through the main storyline. Use it only in, like, battles where you get your items back, like player versus player battles. But yeah, it, uh, if you equip it and then use a move that requires charging up, it allows it to use the move immediately, which is kind of handy. It has some definite uses. Oh, it looks like there's a wild Obama snow here. That's kind of <laughs> wild. I should point out that the, um... Oh, I don't have that thing. I probably should have tried to catch it. There are different Pokemon up around here. A little bit different than the ones down near the station. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, you want to know the secret to making a stellar dish of curry? Add ingredients and berries that are hard to come by. They add something special. Now, if only I could find that most legendary of ingredients, the fabled Gigantamix. Do you know any, do you know anything about where to find it? Come to my camp and we can swap tails. All right, so yeah, let's check out Tristan's camp here. Again, this will let us fly back to this spot at any time, which is kind of nice. Looks like you have some cool Pokemon. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's Mr. Rhyme over there. Hey, get over here. Come on. <laughs> There's a phalanx. Hi. Kind of silly. Galarian wheezing over there. Hello. Galarian Rapidash. Hi. Rhyme Master. All right, what, what's your name? Look, they dance. They dancing. What's up? Why can't I talk to you? There we go. D. <laughs> All right, D. Oh, they're chatting over there. All right, yeah, anyway. I don't feel like making curry right now. I probably could have done that to heal up a little bit. No hidden items over here? Okay, good. Kind of looks like there'd be something, right? There's also this bear tick that appears near the camp. Again, I think this is something that respawns whenever you uh, come back here. So if you don't catch it and you want it, not that it's really that good. Honestly, bear tick is pretty bad. It's not really that good. There's so many better Ice-type Pokemon. But, you know, it's there. I guess it has high attack? Ish, kinda? Sorta? I mean, you know, so does Galarian, Darumaka, and Darmanitan. Of course, I guess you don't really have those if you're playing Pokemon Shield. So, yeah. I still wouldn't use that thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, we're near the final stretch here, I do so believe. Should I give someone else a chance? You know what? I'm probably going to regret this, but let's give my Rune Regus a chance. Waha! Pokemon Trainer, what should I do? I don't really want to battle. Well, I mean, you know, you could just look the other way. Totally fine. Uh, Gigalith! Ooh! This isn't a terrible matchup. Could have been better. I could have had my Roserade, but at least I don't have to worry about the Sandstream. All right, uh, look at all these moves that are super effective. Let's go for Earthquake. 
At least I don't have to worry about this thing having sturdy. I don't think I can take it out in one. Wow, okay, I underestimated you. Why did I underestimate my Rune Regis? That was totally my mistake. Ooh, Surfetch has a lot of attack. Rhydon. Eh, you know what? It's working for me. I think we'll keep you out here. Oh, we haven't actually fought a Rhydon. Well, <laughs> it's a rock ground type, or maybe it's rock or ground rock. I don't I don't remember. I think that might be the case. But yeah, it, it's basically Golem. <laughs> sort of. Just standing up. Uh yeah. Pretty easy to take down. Well, especially easy if you're using like water or grass or fighting. It does have a lot of defense. It's just not like super powerful. Try to hit it with special base moves if you can. Okay, well, there we go. Getting in some good training. I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. <laughs> oh, well. Probably should have planned that one out a little bit better there, buddy. Okay. Well, I bought all these Hyper Potions. Might as well use them. The way you carry yourself, you are something. I'm more than something. I'm Maryland. All right, Gentleman Glenn. Oh boy, there's Darmanitan. Ooh, that thing is kind of scary. Uh, so here's the problem. I don't necessarily want to have to switch out right now. I know it's not a good thing to keep Rune Regis in, but whoever I switch out is going to take some pretty hefty damage. Well, actually, I take that back. Come to think of it, my Cinderace would probably be fine. Yeah, you know what? We'll switch out for Cinderace. I think that's pretty decent. Sometimes it can make more sense leaving a Pokemon out. Because otherwise, whatever you switch in is going to take a hit. And if it's going to do, you know, if it's going to do more than half of its HP, well, you kind of just wasted your switch there. So that's kind of a pain. So as long as I don't miss with Pyro Ball, I should be fine. Cool. There we go. All right, what else do you have, buddy? Phalanx, all right, so that's a fighting type. Well, let's see. Got a few options. I guess we'll send out Ore Beetle. Actually, I guess I don't really have that many options for fighting and looking at it. Well, at least this thing should have no trouble dispatching this. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and Psychic. First impression, oh. Well, that was rude. Okay, grab blocked, another fighting type. Yeah, we'll psychic you. Play can take it out in one shot. Yep, there we go. Oh, nice crit. That might have actually helped. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, your Pokemon are simply marvelous. Ooh, we had a lot of money, 9,200. Okay, so we have a TV crew over here. You know what that means. Double battle, oh yeah. Um... Let's see, I have not used Roserade yet, so let's use these two. Oh wait, did I? I'm trying to remember, maybe I used Roserade for like one, one fight way back. It's been a while, I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Wait, are they the same? Great Pokemon and trainers really shine with something special in there on camera. I doubt it, right? Oh, Jillian and Cam, yeah, actually they are. I remember them. Heliolisk and Kling Clang. Hmm. Actually, this is probably fine. Yeah, this is great. Oh, Earthquake, though. <laughs> uh, should be fine, right? Right? I could switch out for Orbeetle, but I think Roserade can handle it. 
Um. Hmm. I'm a little more worried about the Kling Clang, to be honest. Giga Drain isn't going to do a lot. I guess I could Shadow Ball Kling Clang and thinking about it. Yeah, we'll go for that. Hopefully Roserade won't be targeted by too much. Because I'm going to hit it with Earthquake. Ooh, Mud Slap. <laughs> well, maybe I could miss Roserade with Earthquake. Wouldn't that be nice? Gear Grind. Oh, man. Well, now I have Minus. Oh. Well, never mind. I guess I'm getting it back, right? Wow. That did more to you than it did to me. Oh, no! But my brilliant plan! <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, well. It almost worked. Okay, uh, so yeah, Kling Clang should be taken care of really soon. What else do you have? Noivern, oh. Hmm, <laughs> well, maybe I should get Roserade out of here. I feel like if I Rock Blast that thing, that'd be fine. It's not really worth using Giga Drain. Yeah, you know what? I should probably switch out for... Actually, who do I switch out for? You know what? I'm just gonna leave you in. We're just gonna hit Noivern with the. Uh, let me think. I guess Venoshock? Just to do some damage? Wait, what am I doing right now with Rune Regis? I completely forgot. Rock Blast, Noivern. So we need to get rid of Kling Clang. So let's. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll, uh, we'll Shadow Ball Kling Clang. And then just have to deal with Noivern. Outspeeding a Noivern. Classy! Alright, there. Now we don't have to worry about this thing. There's still whatever Pokemon they send out next, but... Won't have to worry about it this turn. Oh, okay, so you're not even going to do damage. You're just going to use Tailwind. That is great news. Alright, let's throw some rocks at you. Yeah, two rocks, because, you know, every time I use it... Because <laughs> that's just how these moves work. Oh, man. Alright, anyway. Toga Demaru. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's going to be very fast. I guess I'm going to have to Giga Drain it. It won't do very much. Well, I guess I could Shadow Ball. We'll do that. Oh, <laughs> see ya. Bye. <laughs> Didn't even matter, but it's fine. Again, I didn't really want to send anyone out because that would have been bad. Definitely trickier sending out a Pokemon in a double battle. I mean, you can do it, but... All right, so let's see. At least we're just down to this one Toga to Mario, so that shouldn't be too bad. Should be very easy. It's gonna be very fast, though, so let's send out... Surfetched! Um, I'll just use Revenge. I'm gonna be slower than it anyway. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I should probably use it here as well. Yeah, get my revenge. Huh. There we go. Ooh, and a crit nonetheless. Ow. Well, that's just mean. Okay, well, they've been defeated. What strength? I'm at a loss for words. Nice work, everyone. I lost, but it's alright. I was able to assess your strength. Yeah, good to see them back. Okay, so... What is waiting up here, huh? Would you look at that. It's the entrance... to Winden. Oh, man. And there's a little pathway over here that's very well hidden. 
I wouldn't blame you if you didn't even notice it. And it has TM-98, Stomping Tantrum. It's a TM, which is nice, driven by frustration. The user attacks the target. If the user's previous move has failed, the power of this move doubles. So, like, if it gets blocked or if it misses or something like that, then if you use it again, it doubles the power. So that's kind of okay. Not a lot of Pokemon can learn it. Arctazolt can, which might not actually be that bad of an idea. I'd like to get some kind of an electric move on you. But yeah, that's a good pickup. That's a good thing to have. And right on ahead here, we have a lovely pathway leading to the grand city of Winden, which we'll check out next time, everyone. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and turn on notifications to get updated. Be sure to check out my website for more Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage, including a full mobile-friendly Pokedex, a powerful team builder, and a written walkthrough. See you next time!